Question six. A and B are positive numbers. A is inversely proportional to B. It gives us some values of A and B, and then it asks us to find the value of A. It must be equals eight. So nice and straightforward, this one. A is inversely proportional, so equals K over B. And not to the square of B, just nice and straightforward like that. Substitute in the values I know. So I'm going to substitute these ones in. So 4 equals k over 36. Got to work out what k is. So I'm going to times both sides by 36. Times by 36. So um, 4 times by 30 would give me 120. 4 times by 6 gives me 24. So 154. Um, no, 144, isn't it? Um, yeah. So 144 equals K. Okay, so K is 144. So let's rewrite this out. So um, A equals 144 over B. So find the value of A when B equals A. All right, find the value of A when B equals A. Uh -huh. So, tr interesting. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put some algebra in at this point. Because what it's saying, if they're the same as each other, this is one of those key skills that's going to get you to the next level, really, in your maths. Um, is, is, can I model this? And this is often a question at the higher end of um, at the top end of or towards the top end of higher papers can I model this algebraically um, is is something which you know you, you, one of those questions you need to ask yourself and I can because if they're equal to each other I can just call them both X they're the same number so I'm going to put that in X equals 144 over X this is my key step where people wouldn't would, would not see to model this situation algebraically. Once you've got that, I can now just work with the algebra. To, I don't want that x on the bottom, so I'm going to times both sides by x. Yeah, so that gives me x squared equals 144. If x squared equals 144, then x must be equal to the square root of that. So x is equal to 12, which means a is 12 when b is 12. So a equals 12, or minus 12, I suppose, um, if we're going to get technical. So 12 or minus 12.